You have to work 70, 80 hours a week just to survive. Freelancers like Uber drivers are being abused, say the media. This driver has a three-year-old and a one-year-old, but says he hardly gets to spend any time with them. I have to work every single day, more than 10 hours, 11 hours. So in California, unions pushed for a new law. It passed. To make sure that the one million independent contractors in California get the wages and benefits that they deserve. Assemblywoman Gonzalez wrote the law that dictates millions of freelancers must now be hired as employees. Gig workers win historic victories, said the media. They'll get benefits they need, like a minimum wage, overtime, sick pay. Politicians said this will help freelancers a lot. You're thinking you're helping us. But you're not. Freelancers like Ari Herstand say this law hurts us. This law was written to help the little guy. I'm the little guy. I'm a musician. This could single-handedly crash the California music economy. I'll play a gig at a venue in, in LA and I want to hire a, a drummer, a bassist, and a guitar player. 200 bucks each. Now, before, I just cut him a check for $200. Now, I actually have to take that drummer put him on payroll, uh, W-2 him, get workers' comp insurance, unemployment insurance. I have to pay payroll taxes. I also have to now hire a payroll company. Not only that, if he works for someone else, I'm going to have to be an employee of that music venue when I just play there once, once a year maybe. And so the music venues, we're going to start to see those shutting down. Having a good one? Yep. The law targeted rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft. Politicians claimed the companies abuse drivers. But now many drivers are upset by the law, saying, I like being independent. I don't want a boss to tell me when or where to drive. I like making money making deliveries because I'm on my own schedule. This is my favorite pastime right now. When I get into an Uber or a Lyft, I ask my driver, what do you think about this new law? Either they don't know about it or they're not in favor of it either. And I'm like, oh, wait, why don't you like th this law was written to help you? They're like. Oh, well, I'm a recording engineer. I'm a photographer and I'm, this is my fourth side gig. Like I just, I want to do this when I want to do this. And if now I'm an employee and I'm W2, they're going to dictate my hours. I don't want that. The reason I do this is for the freedom and the flexibility. But the lawmakers say, we know better. When you have to take a side job or a third gig or a fourth gig, that's not flexibility. That's feudalism. No, but we want to. You're preventing us from doing what we want to do. It's not something that we need or we even want. You know, we want to leave it the way it is. The law upset truck drivers too. Dozens of independents who own and operate their own trucks drove around the Capitol protesting the bill. Their protest won them an exemption from the law. These other politically connected professions got exemptions too. I've been trying to work out a cleanup bill to give the music industry an exemption from this law. Oh, you get an exemption then, and the truck drivers get an exemption. Why is that good law? Exception for who's ever clever enough to get to the politicians. It's definitely not the solution. Can you just write us out of this law and help us out? Here's, a, here's some money for your new campaign, for your next campaign. Like, no, that doesn't seem like that's a way to kind of legislate. No, it doesn't. But that's how it's often done. And now other politicians want to copy California's law. New York's already started to adopt it, New Jersey, Illinois, and the House of Representatives passed a similar bill. Because politicians say freelance work is exploitive, abusive, it's a scam, it's a fraud. I don't feel like I'm being taken advantage of by anybody. My choice, not yours. Neither do these dancers. They got in the assemblywoman's face about it. I work at a club, I have a choice. I know. I work at a club. Who are you? Let me. I when Gonzalez lobbied for the law, she didn't mention jobs that her law might kill. My choice, not yours. But she did say. It preserves our current union jobs. It's been rumored that the unions pretty much wrote this law and handed it to uh, Assemblywoman Gonzalez and said, hey, pass this. AB5 is backed by labor groups who want to unionize gig workers. If you look at her top donor list, uh, number one and two are unions. Help workers survive. At first, the media were also big supporters of the law. Gig workers win, said Vox. But once the law passed, Vox Media cut hundreds of freelance jobs. They were expecting that all of these companies were going to reclassify um, their contractors, their independent contractors, as employees. 
in reality what's actually happening is they're just letting them all go. What do you have to say sure. to those freelance journalists, those independent contractors who were working sure. and have now lost their jobs because of AB5, your bill? First of all, it wasn't a job. These aren't jobs. These are freelance positions that may be three hours a month and it may be 300 hours a month. The arrogance of politicians. People chose these jobs. Freelancers like the flexibility. Politicians have no right to say all those jobs aren't good enough. Gonzalez would not agree to an interview, and now that there's a backlash, neither would the unions or any of the 75 law professors, political scientists, and sociologists who signed this letter in support of the law. They're embarrassed that they made this huge mistake, that they supported something. They that aren't taking it back. They're, well, there are politics at play, unfortunately. And no politician wants to admit he did something wrong. Exactly. No politician ever wants to admit that they did something wrong. I hope you learned something from this video. I learned doing these stories. Please click this button to help us make more.